ministers on this subject, and while you are allowing us to uh, get into these areas, Mr Deputy Speaker, it is critically important that we plant more native species for exactly the reasons offered by the Honourable Gentleman. Ash dieback is a good example. The disease affecting oak trees, we know, of course, horse chestnuts have suffered too in recent years. And yet, network rail and local authorities continue to decimate our tree population. To compensate just for that, the government needs an uh, a planting scheme of unprecedented proportions. I want to see millions more trees planted, and no better minister than this one, who has been such a champion of the environment throughout his political career, to be the spearhead which takes that forward. Very, very much for his kind words and his intervention. He's absolutely right. We need a, a hugely ambitious tree planting program for this country. We do have an ambitious tree planting program, but my view is that we need to step it up even further. And we are certainly planning to do so. And there will be, I can tell him, tantalizingly some announcements soon to that effect. But it's not just about planting trees, it's also about ecosystems, encouraging wildlife in all its forms. And one of the advantages, as he knows, of leaving the European Union is that we can change the common agriculture policy to a system which, instead of paying people simply for owning land, effectively simply for being wealthy. We will be paying people subsidies in return for providing public goods like improving biodiversity, like improving uh, flood prevention, etc. Uh, etc. Et this is one of the great Brexit bonuses which I am looking forward to.